And today's episode of Free Friday is sponsored by Sketchfab. Sketchfab is the largest platform on the internet that gives 3D artists the opportunity to publish, share, discover, buy and even sell 3D, VR and AR content. Sketchfab provides you with an online 3D viewer which is based on the WebGL and Web AR technology. And this simply allows you to view your 3D content on the web, mobile browsers and also on virtual reality headsets. So in case you want to publish or even buy or sell your next 3D content, go Sketchfab. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is another interesting episode of Free Friday and today we're looking at some very interesting stuff. The very first one was gonna start off by Deep 3D Studio. So Deep 3D Studio is a company that does character development, photogrammetry of awesome looking characters. And the beautiful thing about them today is that they've actually gone ahead to share a couple of their 3D models. Now, if you want to get this, there is a Facebook page where you can go ahead and get this, or you can easily go over to their Sketchfab library where you can see a huge set of 3D models that they already have right here. And you can choose to download any of them. You can preview these models like this, if you want to, you know, you can inspect them. If they suit what you want, then you can get them and start working with them. The beautiful thing about this is with this, you will be having 8K files and PBR textures. And for the most part, if you proceed to download these either by using the Dropbox link that is also made available, you will be also getting the ZTL file, which is the ZBrush version. And most of these files has been cleaned out. So you can go ahead and get this and start working with them. The 3D meshes that you'll be getting are extremely high detail. So in case this is also something that you want to work with, of course, you can proceed to get this beautiful stuff and start working with them. Next off, we are taking a look at Gumroad. Now at Gumroad, we'll be taking a look at a very interesting free shader ball that has been made available by the Platypus. Now the Platypus has made this one very cool. And the beautiful thing here is if you want to get this model, you can simply get it either for 3D Studio Max, you can get it for Maya, which works with V-Ray, and of course you can get the FBX or the OBJ. Now by simply getting this, it means that you can throw these into your scene and you can use this to test whatever shader that you're trying to make. Now, most apps don't really have shader balls and while you're trying to create shaders, in most cases you need a shader ball that actually has some very interesting looking sides like this. For example, if you want to play with, you know, the curves, if you want to work with curvature, you need a shader that actually gives you the ability to do that. If you're also trying to find some, you know, noise, some displacement, or maybe you're trying to get some very cool um, subsurfaces, then of course, a cool shader ball like this is gonna give you the ability to pre-visualize what your shaders would look like when they're being applied to either hard surfaces or rounded objects before you proceed to start working with them or before you proceed to use them on your model. Now with this said, we'll dive over to VFX Hot. Now VFX Hot is a very cool place where you can find VFX assets. Now VFX assets from explosions to 3D models to textures, HDRI, you can find all of these things here. There's also a lot and there is sound now when you go over to the VFX assets that they have here you can also find some very cool ones that you can choose to download and work with now we've already talked about how you can work and create explosions but then they're issuing out a free teaser pack or taster pack that you can get and start working with this contains four premium textures that you need one cloud volume and one premium VDB volume explosion that you can simply work with you can preview these things before you actually commit to purchasing them and by simply looking at this for sure they definitely look good and if you want to play with you know volumes you want to play with vdb these are some very cool stuff that you can throw into blender and start getting some very interesting things working now if you're also thinking about how to get started with blender and maybe get started with working with vdb i'm going to put a link in the description where you can get that and at the same time you can see that most of the content packs that they have here are relatively cheap so you can proceed to purchasing them if you're trying to get some subsurface imperfections some ground textures some vdbs and so on and so forth you can proceed to get this one next up is road sign so have you ever wanted to you know create some stuff maybe as an architect or maybe you just want to you know throw something in your game 
Open Game Arts is issuing out 2K PNG files of road signs. Now there is 465 different road signs that you can get here and they are all PNG files with alphas. So the file size are not that expensive as you can either get the SVG versions or you can get the PNG versions that is available right here. So if you're thinking about working with road signs for either your game, for your next design, for your pre-visualization, your architectural visualization, this is definitely going to come in handy and 2K is a very good resolution for you to work with you can go through download this and start playing with that now with all of these beautiful things said let's dive directly over to qbrush but first of all we need to pay some very cool homage to cane flame 3d so cane flame 3d has a very cool set of high detailed 3d models now if you want to get these 3d models you can simply make a very minimum purchase value here you can see them directly here you can make this purchase and get this but he is also giving out a realistic white male and female low poly objects that you can get. You can throw this into ZBrush, spin this around. If you want to put some pants on them, you can choose to do that. And you can see how cool the topology is. And this is mainly for sculpting. And you can take a look at the head. You can take a look at the body. Right now, this is at its lowest subdivision. So if you want to oppress this, you can choose to do that. If you want to get the higher version or the higher resolution, you would need to come back to the page. And you can see right here that he does have the realistic male and female with high resolution. So you can take a look at the male and female. You can choose to buy this as one individual pack, which costs about $10. You can choose to buy them individually. You can choose to get just the head. In case you want to do full head on lifelike model, you can get the ones here there is also the asian version that you can proceed to get now with this thing said let's go over to our weekly freebies now weekly freebies for this week is quite interesting as you can see that there's a couple of assets that we can work with the very first one which we're going to look at is from oleski riskyuk and he has a desert landscape 4 to 8k file which you can get and i think this is a bundle so if we go over and take a look at this you can see it's a huge bundle of desert landscape in case you're trying to create the landscape this is a very good reference for both games and films and you know animations this is definitely very very cool and we have actually covered a couple of you know uh, landscape creation tools in the channel so you can check those ones out and this is not the only thing that he's giving out as he's also giving out the panel building for cinema 4d users so if you're working with cinema 4d and you want to get this highly detailed panel buildings and maybe you want to just simply throw them in your scene use them as backdrops use them as background images you know maybe you render them and use them as back plates and uh, maybe matte painted stuff then you can simply get these ones and start using them but for sure this is actually octane ready which means you can simply throw this into cinema 4d if you already have octane and then you can run this through and start working with it but if you don't then it simply means that you might need to change the renderer and maybe change the, the shader before you can start working with this one now with this said our friends from scan geek are also giving out the g clamp which is a photogrammetry assets that they have made these guys are known for making you know accurate photo scans and we've actually seen a couple of them the last time they gave out the pruner but now you can see that the pruner is for sale and there was also the hammer the wooden hammer that was also given out earlier so you can choose to come through and get these things now that they are free before they go back to being purchased products if you want to get the photoshop brush from dean you can also get photoshop brushes from dean as dean is known for making some very cool photoshop brushes and this is a photoshop bundle that he has actually gone ahead to make and if you simply check out his page you would still notice that dean has some other cool photoshop brushes like the four brush and the environmental brush and last two weeks we did talk about four brushes that you can get for free so if you want to also get some cool four brushes and you can choose to go over to last two weeks video and get those ones for free and with that majid is giving out the hair dryer tom lopez is also giving out a free reference pack for an old library now the old library that tom lopez is giving out is a library that contains 51 high resolution jpeg there are 7k resolution files which gives you impressive details that you can simply start playing with and now last but not the least featured content for free friday and also a free freebies from qbrush is the george jensen alarm clock so this one is here it's free you can get this 
and R, which seems to be the name of the creator, is also giving out the bar chair and also the egg chair. And it's also interesting to see that Majid also has not just the hairdryer but the wooden diner chair, they also has the console table collection, the DCM chair and also the mini foam O's lamp. So if you're trying to get some architectural stuff and you're looking for some very interesting things that you can throw into your next you know beautiful scene you might just simply want to come check these ones out so with this said there is just a whole lot of things that you can get from today's episode of free friday and if you're interested in characters if you're interested in you know uh materials and you just want to play with the materials you want to use the shader ball to get this one up and running or maybe you just want to get some very cool photorealistic assets from ScanGeek, you might just simply find today's episode of Free Friday quite informative. And before we go, I would like to still mention that the Sketchfab Sculpting Challenge, which has to do with sci-fi circles, is still here and you have about 17 days to still enroll and this is being sponsored by XP Pen. As you can win from a display tablet all the way to a pen tab that you can simply start working with. There's still a lot of other prizes that are attached to this, like the Amazon gift card and also the Sketchfab Plus subscription. So if you're you know, thinking about getting into sculpting, this seems to be a very good time for you to get into. And at the same time, you would want to simply go over to the link in the description so you can check out the rules and regulations before you get started with the XP Pen Sculpt Challenge. And that's definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about today's episode of Free Friday in the comment section. If you want to get some good stuff happening for you, if you want to see more content about Free Friday, there's a link in the description that will take you over to tons and tons and tons of resources that you can get started with if you're looking for textures you're looking for models looking for materials or maybe you're just looking for some cutout images there is a huge set of things that you can find in the description that has to do with a huge set of free friday stuff that you can get started with so tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace